If you're newly engaged, you have about a million things to stress about. Finding a wedding photographer should not be one of them. I have three steps for you to not only find a wedding photographer, but to find your dream wedding photographer. Howdy, I'm Nicole, your Intimate Arizona Wedding and Engagement Photographer. After years of experience in the wedding industry, I am here to bring you all of my best tips and tricks to ensure you have a wedding day that's worth remembering. Without further ado, your first step for finding your dream wedding photographer is to evaluate their shooting and editing style. All photographers shoot and edit in different ways, so you're going to want to go through all the photographers that you're considering and look at the way that they shoot as well as the way that they edit. Some photographers shoot more documentary, photojournalistic style, like myself, and some do a little bit more fine art, posed portraits. Um, both are beautiful, it really just depends on what you're looking for. After you look at their shooting style, you're also going to look at their editing. If you love the way that a photographer shoots, but all of their photos are way brighter than you like or way darker than you like, you might want to move on to a different photographer. After evaluating the photographer's shooting and editing style, the next thing you're going to want to do is ensure they're in your budget. Not every photographer is going to be in your budget, and that's all right. If you did find a photographer that you love and you really want to inquire with them, go ahead and do that. See if they have any specials or promotions going on, and if not, they probably have a list of trusted vendors that they can recommend to you who might be in your budget. After you've already evaluated their shooting and editing style and checked to see if they're in your budget, you need to go ahead and check to ensure that they are available for your wedding date. If your wedding is only three or four months out and you're just now inquiring with your wedding photographer, Chances are they're probably booked up unless you're considering a weekday wedding. However, if you are planning your wedding at least a year to a year and a half in advance, a lot of your dream photographers are going to still have that date open, so it's really important that you inquire early. Alright, so those are my three steps in finding your dream wedding photographer. If you've went through all three of those steps and you're either just not convinced or you have it down to two or three wedding photographers, here's a little bonus Jonas that will help you differentiate the good from the great. This is kind of the more fun part. You get to start looking for what additional services those photographers offer. If you are truly in love with photographer one and two, you just have to figure out what's gonna differentiate them. Maybe photographer two is offering a second shooter for your entire wedding day and photographer one is not offering that. Or maybe photographer one is offering you a bridal session um, so you can get all the gorgeous bridal portraits, which in turn, opens up more time on your wedding day since you won't have to take those. You're going to want to differentiate between the photographers or if you only have it down to the one, it's still fun just to see what extra stuff that they offer that you get to get excited for for your wedding day. Alright, so those are my three best steps for finding your dream wedding photographer. If this video has helped you in any way, go ahead and follow along for more tips and tricks about planning your wedding with ease and go ahead and share this with anybody else who might be recently engaged so that this can help eliminate one of their stressors as well. Thanks for watching. Love ya.